Hello YouTube, it's me again. Another first today over here at the schoolyard. And I'll see if I can do this one-handed. Uh, can you help? It's not, yeah, if you want to finish digging this out, be real careful because this thing is so thin and fine, this may just be a gold chain. Yeah, get underneath it if you could. I don't want to pull on it. Uh, anyway, you know what? I might have to turn the camera off so we can get this out. But I've got a really thin, fine chain. Yeah, let's be careful here. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> get underneath it. Like this. Get really, get down underneath it. Okay, no, that's not working either. Yeah. There we go. I think we got it. Pull that out. Oh, is it still in there? Yeah. Is it stuck on something? Oh, there you go. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Wow. Here, hold it up. Hold it up so I can get a picture of it. How pretty. Oh, another first in the schoolyard. Uh, wow, you know what? That has some weight to it. Awesome. Wow, another first. Uh, almost a live dig. We'll call it a live dig because it was a, <laughs> just a chain sticking out at first. But uh, that's pretty awesome. That is very nice. We'll do a follow-up later when we get it home. And uh, there's Kaylee. That's my, my partner. That's my daughter. We'll do a follow-up tonight when we get home, clean that up, and see uh, if indeed it is gold. But you know, when you see a chain that thin and fine, and certainly a beautiful little locket like that, even though it's in the schoolyard, and it was about, oh, close to two inches down, that might be gold. That would be a first for us. Congratulations. Here we are. You know what? My best luck so far has been hunting with, with Kaylee. She found the uh, 1913 buffalo in another schoolyard on the other side of town. It was actually her her elementary. Uh, she's long since out of elementary school, but uh, that is very cool. Awesome. Well, another good find. We've only got about an hour of daylight left, so uh, I think we're motivated to keep pushing on. See you.